everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Thumb FPV, and as you can see today, we have our DJI combos that came in. Um, this is the one that I am keeping. I have the other one set up to the side for my lucky winner today. Um, for right now, we are just going to open mine up and see exactly what is inside. I know there's a bunch of videos on this already, but this is my video, so we're going to see what's in the box. Check this out. All right, so here we have the box. I'm going to get this opened up real quick. At the bottom. And there is the long awaited FPV combo. So we have our goggles V2s right here. Don't really look any different initially from the, uh, the V1s, but we have our goggles here. Set these off to the side. And here's the drone. This thing, ow man, this is <laughs> this is heavy. This is this is solid for a little quad. I don't think I have anything that's this heavy that's not a stabilized drone. This thing is this thing is solid. It's got the gimbal protector here to the front. Legs. Battery here to the back. It literally looks like I'm going to unplug this real quick. The battery is like a good third of the quad itself. Honestly, they don't weigh that much different. I think it's about half and half the weight. Put that back in. There we go. As you can see, a little fans on the inside here. These little radiator gill fin yeah, type things off the back here. Probably to keep the flight controller and all the stuff that's inside of it uh, nice and cool. I am actually going to tear this thing apart at some point in time and see what's inside. Uh, we have our uh, anti-collision sensors here to the front. We have our ones here to the bottom. And that's pretty much that. Let's see what we have under here. So on the motors we have some springs also it looks like a little bit of a recessed and these look like uh, pop-off um, rotors which hopefully they are that'd be really neat but enough of that got the drone right here um, move this over bring the box back nice little foam thing I'm definitely gonna keep this to store it in because I'm gonna keep it safe this is another big thing I was really waiting on is this controller right here. This is this is sweet. I love the gaming style controllers. I wish they would have came out with this first. Um, let's see what we got here. Is our C1? Is our power? Um, we have our set hole sensors there. Charging docks here. And the inside. This is neat. This is neat. You can take your um, your sticks off and they hide. inside the handles when you're done with them. You just take them off, screw them right in. That That's super cool. I like that. DJI changed a lot when they did this. That flips up and down. And this feels solid too. It's got a good rigid construction to it. Uh, we have a little vent there. There's obviously some sort of fan in there to keep it for uh, from overheating. Um, tabs here to pop this off and on. It did say that on the um, left gimbal hall sensor here that you can take and you can eliminate the tension vertically on it so you can start out with it normally. I guess some people are complaining about that but you can not adjust it. Camera here, record, start, stop. Uh, we have a toggle uh, three-phase switch here. Um, there's another switch here, NSM. Um, and then over here, hover. This is also has a play button on it or the record. So these are dual function buttons here. And then like on the original mode too, we have our uh, little roll switch here. That's probably to switch between the settings for the camera. Not sure, just an observation. But that is the controller. Next, here we have, this says pair of propellers. And it says A. So there's another box in there that says B. These are probably directional, 
per pair, so it probably came with two pair. Uh, these say clockwise on them, and there is a lock button on it or a lock symbol right there. There you go. Um, so these are the pop off props, which is really cool. <clears throat> we have the A's. Box B, same thing, just more props. And then, let's see what we have here. This is it says AC power adapter and goggle battery. There's the battery. That thing's really in there. All right. That is literally the only two things that are in there. So here's our charging dock adapter. It has two USB slots to the front of it, and then your power supply will go here to the back. We have our battery. For the goggles here. That's the only thing inside that box there. Here is our goggle battery. I've seen a button on the side. This looks like it's another intelligent battery. Is this a smart battery? It is. Okay, so this has full smart batteries the whole way around for the goggles and the drone itself. Last box. Then we'll get into seeing what this thing actually really does. There's a tab right here. All right. Silica gels. We have ourselves a little uh, hex wrench here. Tools. Um, here is another wire. It's a name on it. it has no name. Um, these are antennas for the goggles right here. Is one, two sets. So we have all four of those. This is, I don't know what, so we'll just open it real quick. Oh, goggle straps. There we go. That is the straps for the DJI goggles. Um, they come with, this looks like an additional set of the thumb sticks for the hall sensors on the remote that's exactly what that is these are very very tiny looks like m2 threads on the bottom of here i like the ones they came with but i always like to color coordinate my stuff and customize it make it unique so i'm probably going to buy something different at some point but it does come with two sets of those so that's cool um here is our quick start guide which will definitely come in handy because i literally know zero about anything to do with this I went to go buy many DJI drones and always found something else that I wanted instead. So this is officially the first DJI drone that I have ever owned that's not Air Unit Cadex Vista related or Tello. I got the Tello way back like two years ago when I first started getting into drones. That thing is junk. I don't know how they ever sold it. But we have another skin here for the drone. That's pretty cool. So, I don't know why you want it green. It's like avocado, guacamole, lime. What in the actual F? Yeah, I don't. Anywho. Um, let's see. And we have some power cords. So, we have power cord to USB C. This is probably one. Oh, okay. That's probably one of the adapters for the smart battery for the goggles. Um, here is the initial power supply cord for the block and then here is another um, USB to USB-C wire adapter there okay so that is everything that's in the box now we're gonna take a quick overview on the quick startup guide and see how to get this all put together 
All right, so this is the little diagram lineup for how everything's supposed to be set up. Um, we have our controller, let's start over here. We have our battery for the drone, we have our controller, and we have our goggle battery. So um, we have our block here. This plugs in the actual cap right here on the side. I'm not going to plug that in yet because it's not plugged into anything and it is power specific. It kind of looks like XT60 but it's got a little funky divider in there so you can't just go plug anything in there. Um, start off with the end here. Ooh, I like the Velcro. That's nice. I wish they made straps like that. That'd be cool. But we don't need straps for this because the battery connects itself. So we have our plug here. Ta-da. Have that go in for that. This will charge the battery. This will charge the controller. And then this will charge the other battery. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I'm actually going to use it the other way around. Have the one, the longer one, charge the controller, and the shorter one charge the battery. Less reach. You really got to put the thing. In. Oh, you can't. Ah. Okay. Well, I guess you got to have two of them, <laughs> or charge one at a time. Anyway, I do have a spare. I will be right back. So to keep neat things moving here at the speed of life, I went and stole my phone charger. This will also do the same thing. Just keep these separate like so. Alright, so first thing I gotta do. Alright, so everything's plugged in. I'm just gonna take this, see how this goes. Boom. 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 All right, so all three batteries are charging right now. We have the goggle battery, the controller battery, and the actual drone battery right now are all charging. I'm going to do a uh, rough estimate on time for this, exactly how long it's going to take for this to charge right out of the box, and we'll get into that in a minute. But for right now, let me get back into the drone. So, while we're waiting for the batteries to charge, we're going to check out the drone without the battery on it. So, if you look on there, uh, these are specifically tagged A, B, A, B. Um, I'll look at this real quick and see. This is A. So we're going to need two of these. Two B's. I don't know how these go exactly. I'm going to take a rough guess and hope that they reverse the props. That would be really great. I don't know if they did or not, but that would be that would be super swell. Um, and I forgot which ones I took out of what. Haha! <laughs> That's amazing. So, pretty sure these are the B's. Um, they say clockwise on them, so was I correct in my thinking? Yes, I was. That's super sweet. So the props on these are by default automatically reversed. That's a big thing for some people. I myself, I prefer it that way. Keep your camera away from the prop flow. You hit something, the things are dispersed out, you push away from whatever you're running into instead of pulling it into the drone. So I'm definitely glad they did that. And there are the props. These things are so... I want to say it's a 5 inch. I don't know. I have not actually read. It looks about right though. So drone with props on. I'm going to go ahead and remove this little tag here on the front. the side
there we go use the finger hole on the bottom right there to pull it up and there's the one gimbaled and one axis gimbaled camera right here I don't know why there's a sticker going around that but I'm going to carefully remove it like so and there it is minus the battery the FPV combo drone we've been waiting on this for quite a bit I uh, know a lot of people have been talking about it uh, drone DJs blowing up about it they've had a lot of videos or whatever but it's finally here out of the box and this is it and it's so amazing so we have the drone there I'm gonna go ahead and Set that off to the side. Here we have our goggles. Check out our straps here real quick. These look like the normal straps that came with the V1s, which they probably are. Gonna go ahead and throw these on. I do hope they did a little something with the foam on them though. The last ones were wide, like super super wide and I got kind of a wide face but not that wide and then there's like a super wide gap on the side of it they brought a lot of light in and it was kind of a pain in the butt I mean I did get an extra set it wasn't that big of a deal I paid like 15 bucks and got a new strap with a new um, face pad to go around there and that pretty much took care of it but I feel like they could have included two maybe like a thick and a thin one something like that there we go. Stand up. All right. Let's throw our antennas on here and check this out how it looks. These look to be like the conventional, regular old DJI antennas. I was kind of hoping they would go with something a little more low profile. I mean, these, these aren't horrible. There's definitely antennas on the market that stick out a lot farther, but I don't know. Some nubbies would have been nice. Bam. There we go. So, goggles V2. These literally look identical to the V1s and they probably are as far as cosmetically yeah, I don't see any difference in them but that is how that looks uh, as normal we have our channel adjusting buttons here we have our USB-C to the side there micro SD lens adjusters we have our bind button our power cable and then our 3.5 millimeter jack on the side so that is that as far as the goggle and the drone go now we're just waiting to see how long this battery charging are going to take and get this thing going all right so did a little thing here <laughs> i decided to see what he looked like with the green and surprisingly enough that thing was ridiculous to get off initially. We're gonna clip this guy on here real quick and see exactly what. He, I just gotta see this. I don't know why they did this. But they did, so let's check out the avocado. Quad. The avocado. I'll tell you what, the bottom part of this is ridiculous to get in. I'm not too sure exactly what we. Bend it a little. There you go. Don't want to scratch anything, but 
That's a pain. Just kind of got to get it on the side. Bring that in. Make sure the front's secure. Have something in there that you can just bow it with. Quick flex. And then pull it out. Make sure it's nice and secure. Snap everything back into place. We'll put the face plate, I guess you would call it. I don't look like it is back on here. Everything has 97 tabs on this guy. Bam. And minus the screws, that's what he looks like. So, um, what? But, yeah. Alright. Anyway, so, uh, to take this apart, you have screws here, here, same on this side. Your one's in the front. Um, but, after you get your screws out, just take your faceplate off. And then just ever so carefully, what I did was take it off the same way that I put it back on. And you just got to get your fingernail in there ever so carefully. And just pop the first tab off. I have no nails, so this is a major pain. But you just catch on the side. One. Two. Come on. Alright, that's out. This side. Yeah, start at the bottom and the back. And then work your way forward. And it just peels. Right up and over the top. Not very smooth friendly on that, but that's how that goes. I'm going to go ahead and put the gray canopy back on because, yeah, it looks a lot better that way. And then again, just start at the front with the tabs, your nail, pull this up, clip it, pop it back in. Front's in. A little different on the other side. Pull it out and then back and it just pops. Right back into place, like so. For some odd reason, they don't flush up. There's a bit of a gap right there. But then, you just go ahead and put the screws back in. Luckily enough, they did supply the tool. And I'm not going to forget the faceplate, don't worry. Bam. That's on. They did leave a kind of a bevel to the socket head cap screws on the front gives it a little added I don't know cosmetic feature I guess looks neat they would have had them receded within the plastic would have been nice that way they wouldn't have been out but it is what it is that's I got better fingers. There. 
and it's literally the exact same opposite or reversed to take it apart. One thing I had wondered and I didn't see initially, I try not to watch a lot of other videos on things to um, get myself spoilers or whatever. I like to see and find things out for myself for the most part. Uh, when I was taking this apart to the front of it, there is actually a bay door that opens up. I did see USB-C on there. It's probably to update the firmware or whatever with the drone once you get it, or to activate it. I haven't made it that far yet. Um, but there is also a um, SD card slot in there as well. So not only can you record from the goggles from the through the goggles from the drone you can also record on the drone and that spot right here is literally this little bay area right here SD card will go there and your USB-C will go there I just found that by default I didn't even know it was there anyway there's that we're still waiting on the batteries to get charged up and we'll go from there okay so we got everything charged for as far as the combo itself um little lengthy not gonna lie but i can understand um first charge so that probably doesn't make a difference everything was in storage mode whatever um the drone battery itself which full charge took 50 minutes first time around uh these two finished within literally um some seconds of each other and these were at two hours and three minutes full charge there full charge there so if you're thinking you're going to get right in and right out right out of the box with these uh you're gonna be sitting there waiting for these things to charge up for a minute so that is the charging on it um and that is the unboxing so we have our goggles we have our drone and our controller uh next thing i'm going to get into um Talk about who's going to be the free winner of this second combo that I have. So, in a nutshell, there we have the long awaited DJI FPV combo unboxed. I tell you what, I really cannot wait to get out and check this out. It's going to be freaking sweet. The sound of the thing makes when it turns on, all by itself, is that's just. insane in the membrane got no brain but um without further ado i'm gonna get down to the winner of the second combo that i have and that is i'm going to mention their channel and that is family mashup you are the winner of my second dji fpv combo so congratulations there will be a lot more giveaways to come um next week we will start our bi-weekly 25 a week giveaway um hopefully you'll be the winner stay tuned thanks for watching